Hi guys. So uh, now we are going to discuss about accounting entry on let's say when we purchase securities on margin or I would say in short if you ask me other way around when fund manager purchases securities on credit or even partially you know cash paid out for the position. So that particular transaction we treat as a position on margin what it means position on margin or margin on positions so it means in short if you see here the important aspect is so if i talk about this particular this transaction take the example of wipro so uh, let's say xyz fund manager purchased 300 quantities at price of 410 by paying the margin of 27000 so it means fund manager paid margin of 27,000 and purchased the 300 quantities with the price of 410. So if you see how much amount that the fund manager paid and how much amount that the broker paid. So when you take a margin, so it means you are paying this initial amount and booking that particular position or your position in that particular let's say XYZ asset. So here uh, with this particular trade, if you see XYZ, XYZ fund paid 27,000 and broker paid, broker paid, which is 96,000 amount. And then if you combinedly, you know, uh, let this this goes around this goes around let's calculate it 27000 27102.90 plus 96092.10 so that becomes 123195 so it means eventually for a 300 quantities the amount was required 1,23,195 rupees, right? But if you see XYZ fund paid 27,000 and broker paid 96,000, correct? Okay, so now the question is about how as you know, as an accountant, fund accountant, how we can record margin on position transaction in the books of account, in the books of let's say xyz fund right as a fund accountant of course will record accounting entry in the books of fund how will record that accounting entry in the fund book can you guess so now you have a two aspect one initial amount which the fund manager already paid around 27000 and remaining amount if we see 96000 uh, 96,092.10. This amount again still it needs to be uh, paid, right? So uh, with this information, if let's say if you see question uh, around it, like you know how we can record this accounting entry in the books of fund. Now, if I ask this question to you, can you guess how we can record it? Take 10 seconds and just think about it how we can create an accounting entry in the books of fund. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So if you, let's say, uh, have any, you know, uh, if you prepared any accounting entry, you can post your answer in comment section. If not, now I'll walk you through how we can create the accounting entry. So this is your information. Let's now go to the board and see. Here you can treat this, you know, condition or situation as like, you know, buy securities where fund manager purchase securities on cash plus you are, you know, credit as well. So it means uh, both the situations that you can apply cash plus credit. And here if you see 
uh same same you know a situation where you can consider like margin on position position it means so where fund manager wanted to purchase securities but eventually so they paid 27000 or minimum amount and acquired 123000 of rupees collateral right and now if i ask you to record that entry so see this first of all 300 quantities into 410 so into 410 it would be my bad 410 just do this amount it would be around 1 lakh 20 uh, 1 lakh 23 195 so it means here that we have purchased or fund manager purchase uh, securities worth of rupees 1 lakh 23195 right so just prepare the accounting entry with the proper details go and check it the amount as well so it means you can check it already we were there on that screen broker screen right so you can cross verify it now prepare the accounting entry first investment record the investment whatever that we have purchased so that you can treat as an investment investment account debit so total amount how much one lakh twenty three thousand one ninety five rupees right then second to cash account cash account credit how much cash that we have paid we have paid so if you see we have a calculation how much amount that we have paid it so uh, if you just see initial margin that we have paid 27000 102.90 again that becomes your credit balance right because this much amount of cash that we have paid it and then two which is payable payable account credit so amount would be 96,092.0 so see this so this portion again you can record it to the asset side right asset side asset side of balance sheet so it means it will reduce of you know cash balance uh, your liability will increase again balance it liability side liability side and then investment so it means uh, balance it again asset side so this is how you can record the transaction in the books of fund so now i hope you got the idea about how you can record when you have a position right and fund manager paid only margin and still the let's say amount is payable so if you just cross verify this information whatever that we have go and check it so see this margin which we have paid right then amount which is payable again still if you see that amount needs to be paid correct so you need to uh, record this amount as well when cash is out and here this amount again need to pay that's what you can treat as a payable and when you cross verify with this as i said say this this information this and this it will tie with this so now uh, the question is for you so if you see same transaction so there is a profit so now you tell me how we can record this profit right unrealized 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 profit so try to post your 
uh, answer in the comment section how we can prepare accounting entry on unrealized gain because in this situation we have a gain of 7260 uh, rupees so you can try to answer or you can try to post your answer in comment section all right so i'm done with this a uh, small video i would say if you like this initiative please click on subscribe button and share this content with others click on bell icon so which you will get the notification once we upload our new video you can check my latest videos as i have uploaded on several things so you can you know check that and if you are looking for any courses or training as such just give me a call or text on this number 7387609230 you can also ask for a one-on-one -on -one, a consultation as well so we have several programs like fund accounting h1 private equity fund manager program even trader if you want to become a trader and all so we have several programs so and with the personal you know mentorship support if you want that you can immediately call and get the information whatever that you are looking for and if you want to become a fund accountant then I would say you should join my two months training program that add huge value. If you see in this particular example, even you wouldn't have, you know, uh, things like, you know, you may see uh, questions like this or situations like this where you need to record the transaction in the books of account. But if you see how I have simplified it. So I have a number of ways to simplify uh, you know the complex accounting methods including your IFRS regulations and many more things so that I can help you so join my program immediately and again uh, so if you join my program as I said so you can learn much much means much of insight and then you can secure your career in fund accounting domain because private equity accountants are earning well around 15 lakhs 20 lakhs or uh, 20 lakhs per poor hour. So we'll see you next session on different topic. Meanwhile, you can enjoy my content. Thank you.